Question number one. What type of mixture is formed when sugar dissolves in water? Letter A, heterogeneous mixture. Letter B, homogeneous mixture. Letter C, insoluble mixture. Or letter D, uniform mixture. The correct answer is letter B, homogeneous mixture. When you mix sugar and water, the sugar will dissolve into the water. The mixture of sugar and water is uniform in composition throughout, and there is only one phase of matter observed. Question number 2. What kind of mixture is suspension? Letter A, heterogeneous mixture. Letter B, homogeneous mixture. Letter C, insoluble mixture. Or letter D, uniform mixture. The correct answer is letter A. Suspensions are heterogeneous mixture where the components can be easily identified. Number 3. Which of the following is a homogeneous mixture? Letter A. Colloid. Letter B. Suspension. Letter C. Solution. Or letter D. Solvent. The correct answer is letter C. A solution is a homogeneous mixture. Number 4. A salt solution is prepared by adding salt in water. Salt solution consists of two components, namely salt and water. Which is the solute? Letter A, salt. Letter B, water. Letter C, solution. Or letter D, component. The correct answer is letter A, salt. A solute is a substance that is dissolved in a solution. In salt solution, salt is the solute and water is the solvent. Number 5. When sugar dissolves in water, the two substances appear as one. The sugar particles can no longer be identified. However, the taste of the water proves that the sugar was not lost after mixing. Its chemical property is retained and so the water tastes sweet. What kind of solution is this? Letter A. Solid and liquid. Letter B. Solid and in solid, letter C, liquid in liquid, or letter D, gas in liquid. The correct answer is letter A. Sugar solution is an example of solid in liquid solution. Sugar, which is solid, dissolves in liquid water. Number 6. A type of mixture with particles evenly scattered in a dispersed medium without settling down. It is called as a special kind of mixture because its tiny particles can't be seen by naked eye. What kind of mixture is this? Letter A. Colloid. Let B solvent, let C suspension, or let D solution. The 
The correct answer is letter A, colloids. The particles in colloids are microscopic and cannot be seen by naked eye. So to identify a colloid mixture from a solution, you can use the Tyndall effect. This is where you pass a light through a mixture. If the light bounces off the particles, you will see the light shine through and you have a colloid mixture. Number 7. Mixture that are uniform in appearance. Letter A. Colloids. Letter B. Suspensions. Letter C. Homogeneous mixtures. Or letter D. Heterogeneous mixtures. The correct answer is letter C. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has uniform appearance. Number 8. These are examples of homogeneous mixtures except letter A. Soy sauce and vinegar. Letter B. Coffee and hot water. Letter C. Sugar and water. Or letter D. Oil and water. The correct answer is letter D, oil and water. A homogeneous mixture has a uniform appearance. Oil and water are immiscible. When oil is added in water, oil does not dissolve in water. Instead, oil floats to the top because it is less dense than water. Number 9. What is known as the universal solvent? Letter A, water, letter B, vinegar, letter C, acetone, or letter D, soy sauce. Number 9, the answer is letter A, water. Water is called the universal solvent because it is capable of dissolving more substances than any other liquid. Number 10. What kind of mixture is formed when larger particles settle out when left undisturbed? Letter A. Colloid Letter B. Solvent Letter C. Solution or Letter D. Suspension The correct answer is letter D, suspension. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which some of the particles settle out of the mixture upon standing. Number 11. Why is there a need to shake a medicine prepared as suspension before drinking it? Letter A, to turn it into colloid. Letter B, to turn it into a solution. Let us see to make sure that flavors are mixed. Let us D to mix in the powdered drug that may have settled at the bottom. The correct answer is letter D to mix in the powdered drug that may have settled at the bottom. Number 12. Which of the following explains why table salt and water is a solution? Letter A. The salt settles at the bottom. Letter B. The salt dissolved in the water. Letter C. The contents can be separated by a filter. Or letter D, the contents can be separated with a screen.
The correct answer is letter B, the salt dissolved in the water. Number 13. A combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined is letter A, an atom, letter B, a solvent, letter C, a mixture, or letter D, an element. The correct answer is letter C, mixture. Number 14. Johnny wants to separate a mixture of paper clips and sand. What should she use? Letter A, decantation. Letter B, distillation. Letter C, filtration. Or letter D, magnetic separation. The correct answer is letter D, magnetic separation. Number 15. What's the best way to separate salt from salt solution? Letter A, let the water evaporate. Letter B, use filter paper to trap the salt. Letter C, use a magnet to attract the salt. Or letter D, use tweezers to pick out the salt. The correct answer is a letter A, let the water evaporate. By allowing the water to evaporate, the solid salt is left behind. 